Okay, here we are for the screencast, part three, doing dowels on our drawing. All right, before we get started, I just want you to go to your file menu up here in the upper left-hand corner. Click on the file menu for SketchUp. Go to Save As, okay? And here I have it saved as frame part three. I'm just going to give it a different name. I'll go 3B just because I'm doing this a second time. I'm going to just give it a different name so I can always go back when I'm done or if I mess up and I can go back to where I was before I started. So just give it a different name, hit OK. You're gonna save it in your Google Drive, in your SketchUp folder. Like I said, this is just a good practice before you get started on anything new. If you really mess anything up by mistake, you can always just go back to that previously saved file and it'll bring us right back to where we started. All right, so Let's talk about this. We want to put our dowels in uh, two dowels here in our butt joint down here and two dowels into our miter joint down here. So let's get a better view here. And we'll zoom in. Okay. Maybe a little bit too much. We'll zoom out a little bit. All right. If you remember from the video, when I start here on this butt joint, I want to put a dowel in. We measured three quarters of an inch away from the edge of each side. So let's get our measuring tool, our tape measure tool here on the left. Click the tape measure tool. I go and I start at the edge and it snaps to the end point. Give it that second to get to the end point. It gives you that dot. Click and release. Drag down along the line. And I'm going to type in three quarters. So three slash four and hit enter. And that gives me my mark, my guide point. Do the same thing here. Go to the edge, let it snap to that endpoint. Click and release, drag up the line, and then type in three slash four again for three quarters. Now we have our two marks at three quarters. So let's go to the miter side while we have our tape measure tool out. From the video, if you remember, we went in an inch and a quarter, but we measured from the tip here. So let's get to the tip, click, release, drag up, and let's type in one space, one slash four for one quarter and hit enter. Give us our dot. And then we're gonna do another inch in between there. So let's go from the guide point, click and release, drag along the line and just put a one in and hit enter. All right, so now we have our two points here. All right, so we need to drill a hole. And if you remember from the video, we're drilling a hole into the pieces here, but we really can't see it right now. And we have to kind of get inside the wood to kind of see that those the surface that we want to drill those holes into. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, let's grab our select tool, which is up here. We're going to click on this, this middle piece, and we're going to do a right click. All right, and we've got this option here called hide. And you're going to click on hide. What well, hide does is it really, you know, removes that surface, and now I can see inside of our model here. Okay, and I'm just going to get a better view. I'm going to orbit around here and then zoom in. Zoom in here. All right, so this is the surface we want to drill our holes into. All right, okay. So we got our marks here. I want to kind of create a guide, a vertical guide here, up and down, kind of a line to show where those guides are, those guide points are. Again, we use our tape measure tool. I'm going to click on that guide point dot, let it snap to it, click and release, drag down, and let it turn. In this case, it's a red colored line. That means it's straight up and down. You may get a blue colored line depending on how you drew your frame on the axes or the origin, but make sure it turns into one of the colors, either red, blue, or green. But here we got blue. I'm gonna choose the blue because I'm almost positive that that is the actual plumb line. So let it turn blue, click again, and I get a nice straight line up and down. Here, I'm gonna wait for it to go blue. When it's blue, then I can click again and I get a straight line up and down. The reason I want it to go blue is you see this axis over here is straight up and down on my drawing. So that's really what I want. That gives me a line straight up and down wherever I am in the drawing. Okay, so let's reposition here. 
zoom in. Okay, so now we have these straight up and down lines. I need the center here. because We want to drill that hole right in the center of our piece. Again, tape measure tool, we're using this a lot. So our thickness here is three quarters of an inch. Half of three quarters of an inch, we multiply by half, is three eighths, okay? So we're gonna click on our guide point, click and release, drag down and type three eighths. Okay, you will get a dot there. It's a little hard to see, but you get it. Again, we're gonna do it here, get to the guide point, make sure it snaps there, click and release, come down and type in three eighths. Okay, so we have our center marks here where we wanna drill our holes, all right? So now to drill a hole, we wanna basically draw a circle. And we go to our drawing tools here with the rectangle tool, click on the rectangle tool, third tool down is the circle tool. Click on our circle tool. Circle tool goes by radius. Um, if you kind of remember from geometry class, uh, diameter is the full length across the circle. The whole you know, width of the circle, the radius is only half, okay? Our dowels are three eighths of an inch wide. So that would mean our radius is, you know, one half times three eighths is three sixteenths. Okay, so we gotta remember that. So we got our circle tool on our guide point. Make sure it looks, you know, like that, that red circle there. It looks like we're gonna kind of drill a hole and we're gonna click and release and drag out a hole. Okay, and then we're gonna type in three slash 16 because it's going to go by radius okay and then it gives us our circle and this is three eighths across okay we'll do this again over here let it get on the guide point in the center click and release open it up and then we're going to type in three slash 16 for the radius and that gives us the diameter of three eighths but that's our two holes there Okay, so now that's where the holes would be drilled. All right, so we're gonna kind of make the dowels and drill the holes at the same time in this way. Um, but now that we got these surfaces here, what I wanna do is get the push-pull tool. Okay, and click on that. And in my case, I'm gonna hit the control key on my computer to get the plus sign in there. Okay, if you have a Mac, it is the option key or the ALT key. All right, so we have that plus sign. Make sure that plus sign is there on your cursor. Click on the circle. And you're gonna push up or actually like pushing forward. All right, now it's hard to see. You don't see the what, what it's pushing in, but just trust it. And then we're gonna type in three quarters, three slash four. The reason we type in three quarters there is that our dowel length is gonna be one and a half inches. So you get half of a dowel into each piece of wood. So half of that dowel is three quarters of an inch, okay? So we can't see it. So that's, that's a little weird that we can't see it, but let's, let's take a look, let's see what we can do. If we wanna hide this surface too, here, if we wanna look inside, we can do hide again, okay? Or we can do this if we go to our tape measure tool and we go down to this fourth option here called section plane. I'm gonna click on section plane. It gives me this, uh, these squares. So this blue square, I'm just gonna put it roughly right in the middle here and I'm gonna click just once. All right, and so it kind of does the same thing hide does. It gets rid of this surface here. And you can see that we pushed that uh, dowel, you know, or basically drill that hole into the other piece three quarters of an inch. Okay, I'll rotate around so you can see that a little bit better. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's what we want. All right, so we're going to do this to, the, to our other one here. We'll zoom in a little bit. Um, I'm going to get rid of that section plane. I'm going to um, just undo it. I'm going to click on my push pull tool again. Click here. It, you know, I have to click. Control again, because I lost my little plus sign. Click on control, get my plus sign, click in the circle, click on it once, release, push up, all right? And then we're gonna type three slash four, enter, okay? 
Now that gives us the dowels into the one piece. And let's now we're going to pull out um, and do the same thing here. We're going to click on that, pull towards you, and go three slash four. That gives us the, the dowel this way. Click once, release, pull towards you, three slash four for three quarters. Type that in, hit enter, and now we have our two dowels there. Okay. Um, Kind of drilled in. I'll do that section plane again, just so you can see what it looks like inside. It's almost like taking an X-ray of our drawing. Section plane, roughly right here. Okay, and we see our dowels, and that's how we draw our dowels for the butt joint side. All right. Um, I'm just going to leave that section plane out so we can see this, and I'll explain why later. Okay, basically, so you can see this for turning in the assignment. Let's reposition ourselves to the other side of the drawing. Okay, and we will rotate around. Okay, so we got rid of this surface. So we will just have to undo the section plane so we get our marks back. So I didn't, I didn't anticipate that. So just hit undo once to get rid of the section plane. It'll bring our surfaces and our marks back here. And we're gonna go through the same process here to do the markings. Tape measure tool on the guide point, right? Let it snap to the guide point, click and release, bring it down. Make sure you get the blue line. This one looks really weird because it's just the way I'm oriented, but wait until it goes blue. And we click that line there. We'll do the same thing here. Click, release, wait till it goes blue. Give us a parallel line. This one's a little harder to see. Now, if you're not absolutely perfect, all right, I'll click there. All right, that's close enough. <clears throat> It's really about the positioning and how I have this, you know, now you can see how crooked it is. So let me just kind of get this a little better positioning. Sometimes if you're having problems with stuff, just get a better position of what you're looking at. I'm going to hit undo and get my tape measure tool back again. Click on the guide point. There I go. And I get my blue line. And then I click. Yeah, now I get a nice big guide point there. I mean, them straight up and down. Now we're going to get the center. So we click at the guide point, release, come down three eighths of an inch, touch eight. Sometimes it snaps right to the center for you. And you do guide points, click and release, come down three slash eight, hit enter. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's our center points. Let's get our hole drilling tool or our circle tool. Click on our circle tool. Click on the guide point, click and release, open that circle up. We're going to type in 3 slash 1 6 or 3 16 for the radius. Okay, that's one circle. Do the same thing here, open this up, click 3 slash 16 for there. All right, so we got our two holes. Let's get our push pull tool. Go to push pull. Make sure you hit the control key to get that plus sign on it. Control gets that plus sign on our. our uh, icon click once and push up or away from you we're going to type in three slash four three quarters and hit enter that's one hole do the second one click once release push up or away from you and three slash four and hit enter okay, that's those two holes all right we're just going to trust it right now we don't we don't have to look at the section plane we'll just create the rest of our dowel now we're going to click on it, make sure the plus sign is there. Click on it, pull towards you, three slash four. All right, that's one dowel. This one pull towards you, three slash four. That's our second one. I'll zoom out. All right, we got our, our dowels here. All right, we see that half. So we want to see the section plane, do the section plane tool again. Go to tape measure. Fourth one down is section plane. We get that blue mark 
blue square, click once, and there we go. We did it correctly, right? We have our dowels drilled through and put into our model, okay? And we're gonna zoom out, reposition here. Um, a little tip, I don't know if I told you guys this, if you grab the orbit tool here, um, now you have the orbit tool. If you just click the shift key, you get the hand tool, which grabs and slides. Okay, so you don't have to keep going and clicking the same tool. You have the orbit tool and the shift key. You can grab and move, and then you just orbit. And that makes things a little easier too, okay? So now we see here, um, we see our pocket holes, we see our, our dowels, and this is how I want you to submit your assignment, okay? Try to do a image of this. I'm gonna show you right now. Let's position this nice in the center. Okay, um, I would like you to go to your file menu. This is one way to turn this in. Go to export. Right? If you go to export and go to PNG, which is the first choice right here, go to PNG, all right? And you're just gonna go to, in the lower right, export as a PNG file, and you will get this image saved uh, onto your computer. And usually it goes right into your download folder, okay? Um, if I click on this, it, it saves it directly to my downloads folder, right? Um, but you would look for it the same name that you have, whatever it is. Like, this one's frame part 3B. That's what it will save it as. Okay, so you can export as a PNG, all right? For me, it downloads it. It takes a second or two. It puts it right down here into my downloads folder. Um, but Or if you just want to do your screenshot here, do your screenshot with, with this kind of x-ray view where you can see everything and turn this in for your assignment. Okay, and then this is good. You don't need two views. If you just give me this one view, that's fine. All right, so here we are with this. This is frame part 3B. Okay, um, we can undo the section plane now. Once you save your image or took your screenshot, now you can just undo the image plane and you'll get back to this, okay? And let's fix this part here. We always just have to do a push pull on this surface here. Make sure you hit the control key to get the plus sign. Click on this surface here and you wanna just get it to three quarters of an inch. Okay, you can just let it snap to there. That didn't work. Let's do that again. Hold on, gotta get my plus sign. Bring this up. I'll type in three quarter. All right, so it brings it back to that before. And if you want to clean up these guidelines, just grab the eraser tool, go right over the guideline. It turns blue, you erase it. And that kind of cleans up these dotted lines here. Okay, and then you can, it automatically saves you guys. So, but if you haven't saved, click save, frame part three, and this is what you got, all right? So until next time, save your work, and I'll see you at the next screencast.